So let's just see how we can detect cycle in one undirected graph. So there are different methods that we can use. We can use DFS, BFS, topological set, also disjoint set. So in this video, we're going to use the BFS. So here we are going to use BFS to find the cycle. So in case of BFS, we have to use the Q. So as we know, Q is a first in first out data structure. So here, these are the flags that we're going to use. Negative one means our vertex is unvisited. Zero means the vertex is visited and it is in our queue. One means the vertex is visited and that is out of the queue. So initially all the vertex are unvisited so their flag will be set to negative 1. Now let's just start the traverse also we can start from any vertex. So let's just start from this vertex A. So that means we're gonna put that into our queue. So the flag will be modified to 0 because it is visited and in the queue. Next we're gonna remove this from our queue and we're gonna put this into our visited set. That means the flag will be modified to 1 because that is visited and out of the queue. So because we have removed this from the queue, that means we have to visit all the adjacent vertex and we have to put them into our queue. So their order does not matter, we can put them in any order. So because all of these are visited and they are in the queue, so that means their flag will be modified to zero. So next, we have D in our queue, so we're gonna remove this from the queue and put this into visited set. So that means its flag will be modified to one so because we have removed D from our queue, so that means we have to look for the adjacent vertex of D. So here adjacent to D we have only A which has the flag once. So we cannot take that because that is already visited. So we are done with D. Now we are going to move to the next element in our queue. So now we are going to remove B from the queue and we are going to put that into the visited set. So that means its flag also be modified to 1. So now because we have removed B from our queue, so that means we are going to look for the adjacent vertex of B. So adjacent to B we have A which is already visited. Now adjacent of B we have this vertex C and its flag is 0. So because the adjacent vertex flag is 0, that means we have found one cycle right here. So that is our condition to find one cycle in the undirected graph in case of BFS. And the logic is that because the flag is 0, that means this vertex is already visited by some other vertex. So this is adjacent to some other vertex and that is adjacent to this vertex also. So that means here we have one cycle and this way we can detect cycle in undirected graph. Thank you.